St. John's lead. Uh, Syracuse got back in it with long range shooting. And they also played some good ball inside. Lamont Hamilton for the Johnnies makes it 44-36. Syracuse always has been able to shoot the long ball and they were able to do it today, but just not consistent enough to get enough points to win the game. That was uh, Devendorf makes it 52-51 orange. Anthony Mason Jr., uh, after Devendorf scores the three, uh, comes back and gets St. John's in the hunt. It was that kind of a game down the stretch, going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, St. John's, though, when it counted the most, was able to get some good scoring. Syracuse didn't go quietly. Demetrius Nichols uh, gets the cues back in front. And then St. John's turned it up a little bit. Avery Patterson turned out to be the go-to guy down the stretch. Tries to take the, the three ball and was fouled from three-point land. So it turns into a four-point play. Hoists it up, gets hacked, and knocks it down. Uh, and then when he got his next opportunity with the game still hanging in the balance, he found the bottom of the net again. First time the Johnnies have defeated Syracuse in nearly six years, and you can't blame them for uh, whooping it up. And uh, coach happy, and so are the players. So here are the St. John's numbers, 64 to 60. Mason Jr., 16 points and 10 rebounds. Hamilton for 10 uh, and 11 rebounds. And Devin Dorf, 23 points for the Orange. Uh, and you know, up till today, St. John's had really been struggling and the players were quick to point out in the locker room that this has been a tough week of practice for the Johnnies. Well, I was, um, I was real upset after that game. It wasn't just particularly that game, it was just was the fact like the way we lost and it was a full game losing streak. And I think players took that to heart, you know, and we didn't want to be like, we want a more experienced team in the Big East, so we should um, come out and play hard every night and be in, be in the game in each game where we have a chance to win. And I think everybody on the team, they felt that way today and they came out and played that way. Well, I think we all did. Like, we had a meeting and, you know, coach got on us, you know, about passion and having it to come into the games and be one to play. And you got to win, you know. If you got good players, like Gene said, if you got key players, you got to make key plays. And that's what we weren't doing at first, you know. Our uh, leaders on the team is our seniors and Gene being the captain. They stepped up and they was telling us, you know, we got to get it done. And so we stepped in the gym. We practiced real hard. You know, we had a tour day, came back, we played, practiced real hard, and came in ready for this game. It's not about. Newt Rockney speeches and, and those things, that, that, that's, that's baloney, that's baloney. Get out there and play. Get out there and make a play. If there's a rebound to get, go get it. If there's a shot to make, go make it. That's, that's the way it is. That's the way the game is. You watch college basketball all over the country. It is not one coach making some X and O great play. They throw it to a cat 25 feet from the basket and he shoots it and it goes in or it doesn't go in. And then there's a rebound and two guys are going for it and either your team gets it or the other one gets it. It comes down, it's a player's game. And tonight our guys played against a very good team. They played and they made some big plays. So the coach